Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with a new episode of Radio World Thingam. We're back for, well, one and a half hours of whatever. So, uh, sub dudes, how are you? I'm eating ginger snap biscuits. Le oh gasp. Sorry, They're uh, the, the, the Boys, Varys and Astra, and yours truly, the Arctrix, and we're here to entertain you for... I don't know, why do we entertain you guys? I mean, I love how Artrix's audio cut out during most of that spiel. Yeah. Then, yes. And I discovered that it's due to, I don't know, my computer deciding to not record my microphone. But you, I can still hear you guys. So it's just my mic cutting out. Mm -hmm. It's very annoying. And no, nobody cares about you anyway. Well, that's that would be incorrect. I mean, I care about themselves, and it's already. You know, one person. So you don't count. You don't count because nobody cares about you. But I care about me. That's someone. But you don't Ergo. count. I do count. I mean, you know, no, for you for no one to care about something, you need to have zero persons. So, so yeah. you're incorrect. And you, you, you don't count as a person. I do. And, and no matter how much you try and tr no matter how much you try and convince yourself that it's not, it will never happen. Actually, it's the opposite of what you just said. The what now? Exactly. I believe you said opposite. But I was given confusing definitions of what opposite meant in maths. Mm. Like... Uh... <laughs> My, my my maths lecturer said to me that the opposite of, of, of something wasn't nothing, that it was in fact still something. And I was like, no, that's wrong. You're wrong. Your maths are bad. Go away. And did you die? And, or... and then you became a computer scientist. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. By oh, denying no. math. Yes. I disagreed with his logical statement. <laughs> I find logical statements to be very illogical. Well, that one in particular was wrong. <laughs> he was using their own kind of logic. <laughs> he was using explicitly incorrect logic. I was like, hmm, we have something. The opposite of this is, is not nothing. It's like, wait, yes it is. What are you talking about? Maybe, maybe, that, maybe it was just trolling or she or it. It. Okay. it he, he he was a graying old man. Just so you know. Yeah, but old men. You 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 too. never know with those. Yeah, I mean, they could be trolling you all the time. Yeah, that's you, true. You, you always think that when you're being trolled, it's some not some thirty year thirteen uh. year old kid. In but, but they can be like really old. I mean, more and more elderly people are taken to the internet because it's just so fucking bored. They're like, yeah, I'm I'm seventy. Everyone I care about is dead. So I go on the, to the internet and just troll a bunch of people. Uh, I loved this. There was this um, battlefield post on the official EA or Dice Twitter a few years ago, where they were like, "Here's a seventy-eight year old man quite enjoying his battlefield day game," and they, they 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 were very careful not to show the score screen. Well, he was enjoying. He was. He, he was enjoying doddering around the battlefield in a T-72, failing to kill anybody. But, you know, he was in a wheelchair and on oxygen, so what do you expect? So it was some old dude just beating the shit out of all these kids? No, he was pretty trash. Oh, okay. And I don't know how biceps work. I've been... I've been failing to model one for days. Ah, oh, trying to do a little bit of 3D rendering, are you? Yes, and I'm bad at it. He's, I not, think the... he's not rendering, Artix. Why is this everything about rendering with you? He's modeling. Mm -hmm. I render it later. If I press this button over here, my computer will lock up for 60 seconds and produce a render. Cool. It won't. It won't. It won't render very much because there's no lights in the scene, so it will just just spend half an hour trying to make a black box, which which is very clever. Computers are smart. 
mm -hmm. because you know you need all the rendering to pr pr produce a black box. Well, you see, it has to calculate every object in the screen just to make sure there is, in fact, zero light. All right. Well, I can draw back black box right now, but I don't think I want to. Instead, you're drawing some trash cartoon from that new trash cartoon that's trash yeah. in the cartoon. I think you should draw a big black box. It would be an improvement. Nah, I'm not going to. I, I watched I watched exactly one episode of the trash cartoon you're currently drawing and it was trash in the cartoon. I'm afraid Sorry. your Sorry. your opinions are bad and you should feel bad if you enjoyed that cartoon. So it it was basically like Steven versus forces of the universe. <laughs> all all it, the it, shows meshed into into one. It was it was basically if you took the most generic thing you could possibly think of, removed all consequence and <laughs> and emotional danger, and then slapped on generic colors and shoved it in front of a toddler and said, enjoy. So a typical SoCal cartoon. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I think you were expecting too much from it. He was expecting it to be good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything. <laughs> I went. I went into it knowing I, I. I don't like the art style of this show already. I have no expectations for this to be good. Well, if you and then if... I watched. Then I watched it, and I was unsatisfied. It didn't even live up to my bad expectations. Well, there, there we go. If you don't, if you don't like the art style, then I think you already lost like eighty percent of the enjoyment of the show because I quite do like the art style. And, and then there was were also the fact that uh, that the main character was a complete intolerable shitlord. <laughs> I, I I think he's is that even related? Um, yes. <gasps> well, that means yeah. it's relatable, isn't it? Well, well, well see, I taught I taught it would be relatable because because it's a show about a single boy in a family full of girls. Wendy, the girls were you... all far too nice to him for it to be relatable at all. Because you are just the only guy of a bunch of, you know, you only yes. have sisters. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Four of them. So not quite Four. as many as, yeah. No, but, you know. It's more than it's, one. It's the most realistic number in, in I mean, that that's, wow, that, that's actually a pretty big family then. I, mean, I went to school with a guy with 13 brothers and sisters. Holy fucking shit. That's more than what? one. What? He said 13. 13. You know. well, mm -hmm. Irish are poor. They don't have TV, so they have to do other things to pass the, pass the time. And In actuality, my grandparents' family was equally as large, but most of them died, you know, because... <laughs> Because Ireland I, was a shithole yeah. <laughs> in the in, in during World War Two, and that's why there were so many small Irish people. Oh. So at least one one survives. Yeah, only the runs survived because there wasn't enough food to go around. Obviously, <laughs> that's how it works. Wait a minute, are you saying that this this um, the... War Two as well? Because wasn't that something that happened earlier, or is my Knowledge of Irish history really fail, failing on me right now. Uh, I didn't hear what you said, but I'm going to presume you referenced the famine. And no, the famine wasn't in the 1950s. No, it wasn't in the 1800s, wasn't it? Yeah, Ireland, yeah. Ireland's economy was a, was was one of the world's worst economies until the 80s, when Charlie Haw he came into power and he did a lot of dodgy things. But 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 his dodgy things saved our country from a horrible depression. But he was crooked as fuck. But no one really cares because well it did did you know it made us uh, you know, prosperous so yeah it wasn't mm -hmm. shitty shit but uh, good job oh yeah GG yeah GG. Mo most successful politicians are actually crooked as fuck. <gasps> it's true. Le Gasp. I know. I know it's hard to believe, like, that politicians would get into power by lying, but it's true. They do it a lot, actually. Like, look at the current uh, state of the American electorate. 
I, I mean, do you think any one of those people who are trying to get power right now are actually honest? No, you, no. you have, you have the Mister Trump, who who is possibly one of the most corrupt, awkward businessmen on the planet, <laughs> uh, who who has lied about his his political or his uh, financial work since he came into office or came into the race, because apparently he's not actually very rich, because he's wasted most of his money in really bad investments, like um, selling an exclusive brand of steak only from his shops. And his shops aren't even butcheries, so. <laughs> I'm just <gonna> move on. <laughs> exactly, it's like come down to your local Trump store and buy the Trump steak. It's like, but but the Trump store makes makes luggage. It's like yes, and steak. It's like, what? What are you even <laughs> doing? From Mexico. I think his, he only he became most famous to the public from that show The Apprentice, I believe. I think so too. Yeah. And I think he had, he was on the American Dragon Den as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and then you got and then you got the Hillary, who who is uh, in in so many sex scandals that he she covered up for her husband, uh, and then there's the corrupted email server and. I was about to say that. Uh, then her her complete and utter flip on um, the the homosexual marriage mm-hmm. thing in America. She was she was devoutly against it when it came up ten years ago, but now she's all for it. It's like, huh? Yeah, I am confused. Mm-hmm. She also did something about. Um, it's almost like these people have no integrity. I j- was uh, saying something about a uh, point. And she was totally against it. And she told him to turn it down. She didn't appreciate how loud he was, even though he was making a point. And she didn't like it. She also um, she also made a tweet that said uh, to Bernie, "Where were you when I was standing up for equality in this event?" Right and then Bernie to... Bernie retweeted a picture of him standing right next to her <laughs> when she was doing exactly that, which was great. <laughs> I was he's, behind you the whole time. Apparently, Hillary has also had a lot of um, supposedly dodgy dealings in the corporate side as well, but I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, no, that that certainly has nothing to do with the fact that you know all the corporates are supporting her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she's definitely the most corporate candidate out there. I mean. The vote for Hillary is basically a vote for the status quo. Like, you you vote for Hillary and nothing is going to fucking change. So if, if I was voting in the American election and if the election worked anything like it does in Ireland, where uh, we, we, we have to, you basically uh, vote for the candidates in the order you want them to, uh, in the order you would like to see win. So... You, you give your, your number one vote to the person you want to win, your number two vote to the next person that if your favorite doesn't win, you want them to win, and then you just don't vote for anyone else because they're all trash. But you can do that to, to up to the rank of five, uh, so so your vote will transfer back down the pile if, 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 if said, if your number, if your high ranker doesn't win. So, so I would basically vote for Bernie as number one because he seems to be the least up least asshole one and then I'd vote for Trump because he's hilarious yep pretty much <laughs> and, and I would just love to see America ruled by such a crazy person and I'd love it uh, and I would not vote for Hillary I wouldn't even give her a number 5 in fact I, I'd fill out the rest of my ballot with people who've been terminated from the race just for I would, kicks I would just fill the rest with Trump I don't think you can vote more than once on, on the same dude. Or, I mean, well, then, then I would write Trump. <laughs> but wait a minute. Does America have the whole... Um, um, it's not uh, first best to, po- best to post voting, but um, preference voting? So... I don't know. I actually have no idea how they actually vote in America, whether it's binary or not. I, I think you are talking too complicated politics at me right now. Okay. So, so, 
so let's uh, go for something a bit easier something that that does not involve like all these different parties and you know you have to, to do research and shit so let's just talk about the brexit because apparently that shit's going to go down in about a month from now oh, so shit. so so yeah apparently the uk has this ingenious plan to have a re referendum that's probably going to be ignored but you know let's pretend no 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 it's not going to be ignored Alex. the results are going to be carefully examined and mm -hmm. weighed and then it's going to be decided that they need another referendum with better results. Mm -hmm. that, that, they've done that in, in Ireland like three times now. Mm -hmm. It's great. I love the way politics works. They're like, do you want the Lisbon? Do you want the European Constitution? No, we're good. No. Do you want the Lisbon Treaty? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good. Okay. Uh, what about now? Do, do you want to maybe accept the Lisbon Treaty? No. Maybe. But no. No. But they just keep making us do it until we do. And and that's not very nice. I don't think I need that many subdivisions. But Ben Boy, if you don't vote for the Lisbon Treaty, then there's gonna be war and the... <laughs> And then the terrorists win. <laughs> and you wouldn't want the terrorists yeah. win. Well, terrorists to win. You, know, you don't if, want the terrorists to win, do you? you? You guys know if it was any other century, right? We would have went to war with 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 the entirety of the Middle East by now, and we would would have reduced those countries to rubble. Most possibly, yes. But but we live in the age of social justice. Where it's insensitive to nuke people you don't like. I don't know because you know they, they, they are killing you only because you hate them. Yeah, uh, but we hate them because they're killing us. No, no, you you are doing this to yourself. Oh, yeah, Pen Boy, we are exploiting them. So that's why they they have the carte blanche to 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 frequently bomb us with like terrorism and shit it it's totally <laughs> fine because we, we 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 are you know we have military presence in, in in the middle east that's your fault ben boy you are personally responsible yeah but but why did all these subdivisions create a million vertices in like this tiny little place for no reason Wait, what? <laughs> exactly. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah, Wait, were we talking about something? <laughs> but it is amazing that, that we, you, you've got people justifying this shit. They're like, yeah, we, we kind of had it coming because they were just misunderstood, and blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> you're defending terrorists. You're defending people that go out and kill people because they, you know, they think they're in the right, but they're not. Because, you know, killing people for th those reasons is stupid and dumb. You don't, you it's just not very know. nice. It's not very nice. I agree. <laughs> I think what we need to do is just nuke everybody. I agree. Uh, I, um, I I don't know about that. I don't know about it. I mean, everyone, Artrix. Once everyone's dead, no one can die. Yeah, but then they won't be able to draw um, uh, Laney anymore. Yeah, but that wouldn't be a loss. Yeah, that would be actually a, a gain. No, I don't know I, about that. I'm all for. Nah. Just. Yeah, but your vote doesn't count. I mean, we just discussed this. Like it, it doesn't matter what you vote. It's not gonna it. change jack shit. This is also true. My topology is I, bad. I mean, I mean Severus, Severus. Did did you ever get to vote on the English name of the Czech Republic? Did they did they ever consult you to change the the English name of the Czech Republic Republic into Czechia? 
I don't even think that that like happened. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure either. But apparently uh. they they did. It was like on some YouTube channel that this that 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 does like little articles about countries, and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, Czech, the Czech Republic recently changed its English. So yeah, I haven't actually confirmed this. Because Let me Google that for you. Big sorry, didn't happen. But if they did, then it would be very similar to the Dutch name for Czech Republic, which is Czechia. Okay. Knowledge received. I I wouldn't pass the I, I wouldn't put it past the Czech fox. Mm -hmm. I mean that's basically a German name. Good job on representing us. Oh, they are mostly Germans anyway, fuckers. But, but you are a Czech fag, so. No, oh, I am a special Czech. Aren't yes, you? I, I, I am not from Czech part of the country. I am not from Bohemia. I am from Moravia. Right. Particularly, particularly from Wallachia. I have no clue what any of that means because I have such a good knowledge of. Well, the, the first two the are historical of... countries. The, the last one is a ethnic-based region. Right. I found a news article referring to this attempt at name change. And did they actually succeed? It doesn't say. Oh. <laughs> well, it's also two, it's also two years old. Actually, no, it's from April. Okay. All right. It's, so this is a recent uh, thing. It's a month old. Mm -hmm. it, it's it, it it it's a proposed thing that might happen. Maybe. It's, at some point in the present, future, past. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, obviously, this is all very important. I mean, th th yeah, tax money is being spent on this. So, how does it make you feel? Well, it well, probably makes you feel he, different because you. He's someone who didn't even know his country's name was being plotted to be changed. So, uh, I don't think he has strong feelings on the matter. I think it's pretty irrelevant. It's a pretty elephant. Irrelevant. Very, oh. very much irrelevant. No, that's not nearly as sexy. It's, it's, uh, it's that sort of irrelevant thing that I wouldn't be surprised if EU sponsored it. <laughs> well, that was what that that's what I was getting at because it was probably paid for by EU cash money. And, uh, that, and that sounds like the typical thing the EU would fund. <laughs> so imagine the typical day at the EU officer, like, Guten Tag, I'm an EU t t um, officer. And then the other guys like, Bonjour, I am EU p officer. And then they're like, hey. Oh, 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 let me, let me, pick me, pick me. And they're like holding up their arm really, really um, tall. It's like, pick me. And then they're like, okay, Poland, what is it? And then Poland is like, this name for Czech Republic because it's such a, a mouthful and it, and I don't like pronouncing it all the time. So let's change it to Czechia. Well, apparently the name change is in response to uh, someone said one of the Boston bombers was from the Czech Republic, confusing it with Czechia. Mm -hmm. And 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 they were like, oh, we we should get a name that's that, that's easier to 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 uh, distinguish. I and make us sound more I, more I am, like a country. I am pretty sure that Czechia and Chechnya are almost the same word. Exactly. So it's not really an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Which set makes it even double ironic. Yay. Right. Mm. Arturus is drawing arms without bicepses. This isn't useful for my <laughs> referencing. <laughs> He's just like giving them their, these these noodles. <laughs> Artrix, your art is useless to me. It's too cartoony. Make it better. It's almost as if I'm a cartoon artist. Are you? No, I'm, I, I'm actually uh, a hyper-realist artist that's really bad at hyper-realism. Ah, okay. Um, for the for the uh, 
for your information, hyperrealism is when you can distinguish, almost can distinguish a, a drawing from a photograph. Don't be ridiculous. Hyperrealism is actually fifth dimensional art. Oh, okay. Yep. When you look at it, you're looking into a new reality that you didn't even know existed until then. You're like, you go up to the art piece and you're like, I can see through time and what's to the left of me on the quantum spectrum. It's Fred. Hi. He's a truth bag. He has 17 eyes. Exactly. Like, what kind of person has 17 eyes? Why can't he have 19 like every normal? Exactly. The things that happen when you look through interdimensional space. So the ancient the... ones aren't even that scary. Those are the modern ones. Yeah, but the modern ones are terrifying. Yeah, especially the modern modern art dimensions, because they're they're conjured by by these these well, modern artists that that are like, you, you just don't understand it, man. Like you don't understand my art, because because yes, yeah, sure, I just put a bunch of feces in the corner of a room, but it's art. You're just too stupid to understand it. I love those blogs that people make after visiting modern art museums where they almost all universally say, oh, we went to the modern art museum, we dropped something random on the ground, and people started taking photos. <laughs> yep. It's like, yep, that's modern art. Pretty much. Uh, I, I think at this rate, if all the stories are true, there's more random objects in those museums than actual art. The funny thing is, what people don't seem to get about modern art, uh, I think I think it refers to dadism in general. I, I'm not sure because I'm not an art student, but it's a uh, modern art was a was a movement created by artists so fed up of people not understanding what made art good, they started <laughs> making trash and presenting them to as art, and they're like, these people are so retarded, they'll eat up anything we give them. <laughs> And yeah. then people did. And they just grew to an ironic in-joke among actual artists. But then people who weren't artists started getting in on it as well. Mm -hmm. And and the, the ever old adage of uh, if, you, if you... I've completely forgotten the quote, but it, it's something like this. If you spend your time pretending to be idiots you'll soon find yourself in the company of idiots. <laughs> because, you know, idiots start thinking that's acceptable behavior, even though you were all just play-acting until the idiots arrived, and they weren't. So, so now modern art museums are full of people genuinely believing that shitting on the canvas is art. While Fem everyone else says, no, it, it's not, you're retarded. So feminists, but basically. Exactly. And I don't understand how the movement still exists. Uh, you know what I liked in art of the 20th century? I like the Dada movement. They were mostly people who just went through the First World War. And they were like, uh, nothing makes sense. You fucks. Why do even art? Look at how futile it is. And then they took a shoe, threw it into a toilet, and put it as an exhibit. What, and, wasn't it also partially funded by the Soviet Union to try to devalue the concept of art? Uh, I, I think the official the official art of Soviet uh, revolution was the supremacism, which was basically geometry. Oh. So here's a square. Worship it. Well, yeah, actually, actually, yeah. The guy who was the headliner of the art was a guy whose most famous painting is a is <laughs> it's a black square on a white background <laughs> and and his ultimate ultimate work that uh according to his point of view of art stretched the possibilities of art to absolute maximum and you couldn't make a more artsy art than that was a white square on a white background hmm. yes and then he was like, okay, I can't do more 
So I'm going to go and do the normal art. That's truly too deep for me. Yes, uh, I, his, his name was Kazimir Malevich, if I remember correctly. I, I do love it when you see it, see a modern art referenced in TV, when, when you get two people who are observing modern art, and one person is all like, it makes me feel so much, man. And the other person looks at it and says, it, it, it's, it's a spot on a canvas. And he's like, but, but how does it make me feel? Doesn't make me feel anything. It's a spot on a canvas. You're retarded. Yes, I, I well, have seen I have seen such a scene once, and then uh, Doctor Who entered the exhibit and teleported away. <laughs> oh, that happened. Yes, that that was that was an actual scene in one of the episodes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the best thing about it, that one of the art critics was was John Cleese. Wow. Well, it happened in Archer as well. And and I was reminded of it because in Archer it was in fact the white square on the white canvas that they were referencing. Ah, it was so dumb. Modern <laughs> art is just so dumb. Why does it exist? Why? <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, then they smashed the picture over someone's head and they said that was worth a hundred million dollars. It's like, I'll just get a book and a paint, and make another one. <laughs> It's just a white canvas. There's nothing on it. It's not art. It's all subjective and shit, I guess. No, it's not. It isn't. <laughs> you, if you get a white canvas and you get a bucket of white matte paint and you pour <laughs> it all over that white canvas, you haven't made anything. You've just spilled a bucket of paint. Mm -hmm. But in, in an artful way. Yeah. No! It's not, <laughs> art. it's not artful at all. It's just a waste of paint, a waste of paper, a waste of wood, and a waste of whatever the fuck canvases are actually made of. And the waste of the maintenance of the building that houses the, the exposition. Like... And then someone needs to come in with a sander to get that shit off the floor because you just spilled it everywhere. A detail. The level of effort has to go into cleaning up after modern <laughs> art is much more of an artwork than the modern <laughs> art. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's like it's th well, go ahead. just think about it. Think about those those people who go get twenty buckets of paint and just throw it at a wall and call it art. And then imagine the maintenance crew that has to come in afterwards and sand that shit off the ground and repaint the floor. That's so. God, that's not mm. nice. They're the they're the true artists. They are the true heroes. Scruffy the janitor with his floor buffer. Yep. All hail Scruffy. In in before in before that's actually this is actually the 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 whole stick of the thing that no one thinks about. Maybe you crack the code because the actual exposition. And no one sees it because everyone's just too dumb to realize. <laughs> so the act, yes, yeah, so the actual artist is the janitor, and it's like, I'm not a. When, when I love how you... okay. I love how your microphone isn't working at all. <laughs> right? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's really, really weird. Because mm. okay, sure, it cuts out every once in a while, but. To, to leave out like <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> absolutely I agree yes it's terrible to leave out <laughs> oh just get your shit together <laughs> yo uh, None of us even have expensive microphones. You've got the most expensive one, and you're sitting there being a piece of shit. <laughs> I don't think it's due to the microphone, though. It. I think it is. No, it has something to do with the computer just having trouble recording for some reason. Ar Artrix, Artrix, tell me. Tell, describe to me your sound card. Uh, it's 
No, it's 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 got nothing to do with the sound card. I'm no, sure. no, just 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 briefly describe to me how your sound card is connected to your computer. USB. <laughs> it's what USB. you cut out. Oh, okay. Well, um, let me explain <laughs> to you something about USB sound cards. Uh, okay. <laughs> Due to the fact that USB doesn't actually have a direct access to computer's memory, or anything really, uh, <laughs> this means that everything that a USB device does has to be added to a queue for later processing by the computer's main processor. This means that if your computer is ever doing anything else that isn't directly accessing the USB, everything the USB gets constantly delayed and these delays stack up longer and longer and longer. So having a real-time device like a sound card attached to a USB port is the most retarded thing you could possibly do. Except that the uh, microphone has its own USB connection and shit. That's even worse. That, and, that doesn't, that doesn't and, make it better. It still means it needs the real-time queue, and there's no uh, real-time queue uh, for uh, USB. That doesn't explain why it records your voice is just fine. It's but, just, uh, uh, but, but uh, we're uh, not we're not going through your computer's IR, IRQ queue. See, uh, Artix, if your sound card is connected to USB and your microphone is connected to the USB, uh, I actually, hope. Yeah, your queue is twice as long. <laughs> It's just fundamental computer design. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think got this shit down now. Okay, okay. Arjix, just tell me. Does your computer have a shitty onboard sound card? Yes. Okay. Have you tried plugging your microphone into that instead? No, because it's a USB microphone. So I can't connect it into the shitty onboard sound card. Have you considered not buying anything USB? No. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Just, just do me a solid, uh, uh, and just get like any old cheap microphone. I don't care, even if it's a phone headset microphone mm -hmm. that you can plug straight into your computer's onboard sound card, and then we can see if it makes any difference. That's true. I can try that sometime, but not now. <laughs> not, okay. not in the middle of the recording. Mm -hmm. Okay. For future. Yes. In For future, future generations. In the future. In the far away future of 2016. Oh. It's yeah. current future. <laughs> It's... Future. Speaking of things that happened in 2016, mm -hmm. did, did did you know they released another Dark Souls game? No. Oh. It has many Dark and Souls in it. It's got the number three at the end. Wow. Wow. That means so it's, it's better than the second one, right? Apparently, yes, because apparently the second one was kind of full of giant armored dudes for all the bosses, so it was oh. kind of boring. Mm -hmm. But... But because of this anniversary of a big game that everyone's been talking about for the past, what, three years, I decided, do you know what? It's about time I go and play that shitty game that I bought in a humble year, bundle a year ago. Mm -hmm. so, so I've been playing the Dark Souls. And oh let me tell God. you, it is not exactly the game I was led to believe it would be. People kept saying it was a video game that was tough. But fair. This but isn't true. Fair. It's not true at all. This is a video game that relies, relies very much on you just grinding up your stats and then becoming overpowered enough to murder your enemies in a few hits. Because if you just play the game at your own pace and get to the bosses at, at the rate someone like me who, who don't... I don't like grinding, so I don't do it at all. So I just play straight to true games, and, uh, and as long as I'm defeating the enemies in an area, I expect I should be able to take on the boss. This is not true in Dark Souls. Because if you get to the boss when you're just barely able to beat up the enemies in the area, you'll just die in one hit and it won't be fun. Even if you have your shield up, which, which by the way, is supposed to absorb 100% of the damage of most attacks. So... 
when you get to the boss and you put up your shield and you get hit by a blockable attack with your shield up and you just die. It's like, yeah, this feels fair. And you know what's even fairer? Hmm. Mm-hmm. When you block or not block, whatever, you don't even get much damage, but you get knocked off of a cliff <laughs> because there's cliffs always everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine, though. I, I was, you, when you're playing a game, sometimes you see the ghosts of other players, and it, it's <laughs> hilarious, because, uh, okay, you're running through the starting area, and you see a ghost of a player, and it's like, wow, that guy's got some awesome gear. I recognize that sword. It's like an end game boss sword. <laughs> and he's just running through the starting area, and, and one of the level one mobs just bashes him. <laughs> And he falls off a cliff. And it's like, well, all that gear didn't save you there. He did. It's just so hilariously dumb how easy you can die in that game. And it's great. But yeah, so if you are, if anyone out there is going out to play Dark Souls because the new game just came out and they want to you know, get into the game from the beginning... Expect the game to be very, very mean. Hmm. And, and and it's not just hire hard because the enemies are difficult, but it's also hard because the game expects you to grind quite a bit. Well, fanboy, from what I read on the internet, you just didn't get good. No, I just didn't <laughs> grind. When I when I then decided, okay, I'm just gonna kill twenty of these monsters here for five minutes because literally 20 of them spawn in a pile. It's some kind of phalanx, it's called. Uh, so I just run in there, murder them for 20 minutes, level up 30 times, because I was a re- I was really under-leveled for the area. <laughs> I mean, I-, I leveled up after killing a tree of the guys, and there's 20 of them. So, <laughs> But yeah, I-, I grinded there for five minutes, then went to Nolan and killed the boss. I was like, oh... I just didn't have enough levels. That's why I was being murdered in one hit over and over again. Ahem. H M M M M M M M M. But yeah, yeah I, I also everyone talks about Dark Souls like it's some magical epiphany of storytelling where they don't tell you anything in the game and everything is given to you by small hints on on items and the environment I was like okay that sounds great but then I played the game and all this epic world building people kept talking about sure there was a few nice environmental tweaks but but everyone said oh you have to read all the item descriptions to get the full story I read the item description and it's like this ring was once held by uh, Sliff friend of George I was like okay that, that that's it that's all the epic world world building. What are it, those people? These people were friends, <laughs> right? So, so, so this this dog I murdered was friends with the person in the grave. The dog was guarding. That okay? And that I, makes uh, sense. Yeah, that's uh, that's epic. I guess. That's right. Those, I guess. Whatever. Yes, and but, that, but, but. The people on the forums will tell you mm-hmm. that this, this is not a lack of content. No. It leaves a lot of space for your imagination. Oh, okay. But then I was even more confused because I used his soul to make a great sword that was based off my intelligence. The Doge or the other guy? Yes. Oh, I used God. the Doge's sword to make to make a great sword. It's like, okay, it's a great sword. Shouldn't that be based off strength? <laughs> no! It's about how smart you are. It's if a very was, smart sword. If I was smart, I wouldn't be using a great sword. Well, you know what they say. Pen is mightier than the sword. This is the reverse of the case. Oh, the sword this, is only good if you're smart. Yes, this, this sword is better at writing than the pen. I think. Probably. It was a really big sword. You could write a lot with it. Ah. So instead of making a sword, I made a shield. 
the shield isn't any better than the other shields I had, though. It's just bigger and heavier. It makes it better, obviously. There, there's, there's so many things in that game which require an incredible amount of effort to get, <laughs> but so little reward for getting them. <laughs> Wow, that really sounds like it, it's worth it. Oh yeah, it's like, oh yeah, you went out of your way to preserve this soul and beat up an optional boss. Here's a great item. It's like, sweet, it's a great sword. I'm, I'm a strength-based character who uses great swords. This sword... No. Why? Why is it based off my magic stat? Makes sense. It was a job for an intelligent mind. Of course, there is another boss sword or axe that requires <laughs> 50 strength. Nobody has 50 strength. That's absurd. It's just, no. Well, the bosses do. Yeah, true. Anyway, that that's my little rant about Dark Souls. It's very hard. And you need to grind. And don't forget to level up your swords, because they level up separately from your character. But yes. did you have fun? I got very, very frustrated and haven't beaten it yet, and I'm annoyed, and I'm fighting a boss right now that I don't know how to hit. That sounds like the best fun ever. Yes. You run into the boss room, you try to get up to the boss, but you can't, because there's no ramp up to where he is. He's entirely stationary, and I don't use bows so uh, and then he uses an attack which hits the entire room and kills you in one hit I was like I don't know what I'm supposed to do I'm so confused I've run into his boss room like six times now It's I've only done it six times because his boss room is ages away from any of the bonfires and Sometimes I die just trying to get there because there's a bunch of annoying enemies. And when you kill things, they respawn the next time you're alive. Hmm. So you have to kill them over and over again. And you can't just run past them because they'll shoot magic into your arse till you're dead. But yes, Dark Souls is frustrating. Very much. All right. Yes. Well, it doesn't really sound like the sort of game I'd be playing, but you all know how. Well, uh, yeah, Artex, most of the games in existence don't sound like a game that you will be playing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, for, except for Candy Crush, probably. Of course, another game came out today. Ooh. Uh, what was it? Games? What was it? The Field of Battle? No, no, that's not coming out till till August. Oh, okay. Which I will be getting, regardless of how terrible it is, because I have all the Battlefield <laughs> well, games, it, and I it, must have more. It, I must it, have all of them. It can't be as bad as Infinite Warfare. The, the, no gameplay footage has been released for Infinite Warfare, yet everyone's shitting on it. Well, it's, <laughs> I, I guess that people, I don't know, they really like the idea of yet another futuristic military shooter. Speaking of, the game that just came out today is called Doom. Oh, Ooh. that came out today. I thought that was going to be released like months. Does oh, it have monsters in it? It does. I, I think it even has a cyber demon in it that you have to shoot until it's dead. Wow. Oh. I've never I seen actually... that before in a game. That's very revolutionary. I literally haven't watched any of the promotional information. I have played the multiplayer beta, and from that I can tell you that most of the weapons in multiplayer felt really, really underwhelming. It was it's primarily uh, focused on multiplayer. Oh, fanboy, 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 fanboy. Mm. It's a modern shooter that has a multiplayer. Well, so... so... So, the weapons have to be balanced. Therefore yes. They can, therefore, they cannot be fun. No, see, there, that's that's not the real problem, actually. Because there's the way older games got around about got around in balanced weapons was by limiting player access to them. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
So of course. they would they would put the powerful weapons in difficult to defend and get to places, right? Like in in Quake Tree Arena, there was a map that had a BFG, but the BFG was right in the middle of the map where everyone could see it. Everyone had line of fire to it, and you had to do a tree jump pad sequence to get to it, right? So, so you're completely vulnerable in everyone's line of sight trying to jump for this gun, mm -hmm. which, which made it difficult to achieve. But if you did achieve getting it, it would give you a fairly large advantage because it's a BFG, right? You know, it's supposed to be the ultimate in gun. Yeah, you just it, shoot and it just kills everyone in your line of sight, basically. Mm -hmm. You so, also get wisp boppers from it. Well, actually, the BFG in Quake Tree Arena was basically just an upgraded rocket launcher. Mm. It was it was a lot more powerful, but it fired a fairly slow projectile and had a big splash area, but it wasn't it wasn't God's gift to man, unfortunately. Doesn't it just like uh, travel across a room and then kills everyone that passes it? Did it like these um, rays coming from its that, orb or whatever? Yeah. The, the BFG in the original Doom was like that, yes. Oh, okay, but not in Quake. Tree. Quake Tree, right? I don't quite remember it, to be honest. It, it was it was a big gun that fired a blue blob that made people hurty. Yeah. All right. But the problem with the the problem with the level design in in the new Doom is they use COD like loadouts. Mm -hmm. So so everyone spawns with two guns. Which means the two guns you spawn would have to be relatively in balance with all the other guns in the game, because there is no, there's no territory control on the maps. Mm -hmm. there, there's a few, there's a few special items, but there's there's no there's no ammo specific weapon pickups, or there's there's no weapon specific ammo drops, so there's no point in controlling any particular area in the map. There there only the only pickups on the map that are worth controlling. Are probably the health, and there is there is a special uh, pickup on each map where you can get a cyber demon or a uh, a BFG basically, but I think it was more like a railgun. Uh, so so they've they've basically eliminated the need for map control, which was which was a huge part of the old arena shooters, because you would start a game with nothing but a machine gun or a pistol. And then you would have to find an area of the map which you could control, which also had useful utilities in it, like ammo and your preferred weapon. So, so the game was basically built around camping. Now, now the maps are more open because you all have have your guns, but there's no reason to control any particular area, which eliminates a huge portion of the gameplay of arena shooters. If you have no reason to control a territory, you just go to the best choke point on the map, and and you just camp there. You know, it's like okay, I know enemies are going to have to funnel through this hole, so I can just stand in this corner and shoot them, and I know that they're not going to have better weapons than me, because there isn't better weapons, because <laughs> everyone's got the same guns. Uh, uh, pretty much everyone just has a rocket launcher and a shotgun, so. <laughs> So there's 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 no there's no gameplay advantage to any of the weapons because everyone has the same shit and there's no map advantage to be taken. However, I I, I hope the multi the single pair is good. I'm debating whether to buy it and enjoy it or not. I I I, I always refuse from looking at, at at game reviews of single player games because you often get a reviewer just shitting all over it because he doesn't like it for whatever wow. reason and mm. and, okay. and that, that can flavor your opinion of the game mm -hmm. well naturally if the guy just raves and raves and raves like yeah this game is misogyny or this game is too violent and stupid it, yeah if you're not prepared to you you may take his word for it like you know maybe it is oh um, that just reminds me of the best full Macintosh post I saw recently. Oh God. He says uh, that the, that Blizzard comes out with this new new um, MMO shooter 
where all the women have exactly the same body type. <clears throat> That's what he said. Th those were his words. He said exactly the yes. same body type. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly the same body now, type. I, I, I've played Overwatch a couple of hours. I played with Zab the other day, and uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't think it was anything special as shooters go. It was it's pretty not. ordinary. It's, uh, it's basically Team Fortress 2. Mm -hmm. With special some, moves. With, with some of the classes copied almost verbatim. Like the, the medic is even German. <laughs> but but let me let me briefly describe the, the female body types that are exist in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the infamous Tracer, who is an athletic fit woman who who is his, his has a lot she's she's kind of bayonetta esque, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, Tall, or... long legs, yes. skinny. And origin uh, originally she was a jet pilot, so kind of makes sense that she's in a good condition. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have uh, the freeze, the freeze one May, I think, as she's called, yep. who who is who is wearing quite a lot of layers, but appears to be a rather pudgy, uh, chubby girl. Uh, uh, of decent proportions. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say she had the same body type as Tracer. Um, <laughs> that, would, that, that would be that would be dishonest. Uh, then I, I don't actually know all the character names. Uh, but then there there's a there's one in a power suit who looks a bit like Samus. Yes. You can't you can't the... really tell what her body type is because she's in full body armor at her, all times. Her, her body type is the Raptor Mark One's battle armor. Yeah, it's so, like, no. <laughs> she she look. You can assume that she's relatively fit under all that armor. Uh, then there's the heavy weapons girl, who, who, came straight out of Tumblr, basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she, she has the haircut of a tumbler, right? Yes, but she's muscular and solidly built. She looks like a weightlifter. Mm. You, she wouldn't look out of out of place in a strongman competition. Yeah, she and she has a plasma railgun. Yes, which which is always nice, but it was actually a really shit gun. I found I I, I didn't enjoy oh, playing her because, because the gun had no power. It's because she's a different zero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so yeah yeah so you you have have skinny fast one heavy armored one chubby one uh big muscly one uh then you have the widow maker i think it's called yeah, who I is a sniper yes who i would say probably has the most sexy one she's, she has she has yeah. she has more butt than tracer ever had yeah she has high heels her ass sticks out she's in skin tight clothes yeah, she's very highly sexualized i mean that that was is part of her design basically, and they're they're not being around the bush. Like, is there any other female <laughs> characters that I'm missing? Um, I think you covered just about all of them, I guess. Yeah, well, th there's there's the uh, well, there's the hero. Oh, no, there's uh, there's the Egyptian looking girl and uh, the Egyptian looking girl is the one in the power suit. Oh yeah. Okay. Like, oh yeah. Uh, there was, was one more. The, 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 there's the there's the healer mercy and the support symmetry who has a teleport and an awful lot of threats. Oh yeah, and there's the uh, anime girl in the pack. Oh in the yeah, the, the anime girl. She's sixty. Oh yeah. Now I I will give it that those last three all basically just have generic ordinary woman body pipes. Well, there's symmetra. nothing. Symmetra overall is very unremarkable. Yeah, they, they're all fit, healthy, skinny women. Yeah, but the, but, but the point is to say that Overwatch, Overwatch doesn't have, you know, women with different body types. That's that's fucking retarded. Like, uh, yeah. They, they, they obviously went out of their way to make mm -hmm. sure that mm -hmm. all the Various body types were represented. Uh, you, you could you could sort of make the the uh, case the other way. Like you have the Reaper, who's a muscular guy. You have the Soldier, who's a muscular guy. You have McCree, who's the cowboy muscular guy. Mm. Yeah, all all the male soldiers are big muscular men, except the fat one and the dwarf. 
and 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 that guy who has only one leg. The, the, huh? What was that last one you said you cut out? Uh, the guy with only one leg, the one with the green eyes. Oh. Uh, oh. He only has one leg. That's terrible. But yeah, that's an interesting twist to the whole well debate. Like, yeah, I I think there's definitely there's probably more diversity in the whole female cast than there is with with duders. Mm -hmm. And naturally, Which... no one ever fucking complains about that because, for one, we pretty much are accustomed to the Who game. Who cares and... about dudes? Well, yeah, it, when when you play a game, you can't expect a dude to be fit and muscular. It, that's Won't just... anybody think of the women? Mm -hmm. I, I can think of only one game where you could maybe consider that the main character probably isn't the peak of fitness, and that's probably Half-Life. <laughs> and the only reason I say that is because you are a bespectacled uh, MIT student nerd with a PhD. <laughs> You're a skinny man in a power suit. Ergo, it's probably the power suit that, that gives you the power. Yes, yeah. and, a, and a flashlight and oxygen. Mm -hmm. Like, would, would Gordon Freeman be the hero he was if he wasn't in the EVA suit? If he had went, if he was, if he was in a lab coat that day at the office, if he was one of the guys out in, in the observation booth and not the guy in the test chamber, I think that story might have went very differently. <laughs> But I'm very short. Then again, you do see like three dead people in EV in hazard suits in in the course of the game, and they're all in Zen. Is mm. that like the weirdest alien world that you end up in eventually? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think I think the point is like Black Mesa only has like six hazard suits, and the in. All the other ones were used, so. <laughs> Whoops. The hazard suit is you. So, so Gordon suit. Freeman was just a product of pure luck that day. I guess. As you do in games. Oh yeah, you you typically do encounter like extreme odds in games, like oh I just happen to be here, and oh I just happen to have this gun on me, and oh and I, I can... just happen to survive. And, well, ooh, well, the thing I is, just though, happen to be competent with handling guns. Even in reality, that's how stories go. I mean, when when you were the last person to survive in a battle where you accidentally went up against 50 Nazis by yourself and somehow managed to win, you yes, you are that unlikely hero that just happened to be in the right place, find the right <laughs> things, and get away with it somehow. Yeah, but you know what they say? The, the history is written by the victors. By the Wieners. Yes. The Wieners. <laughs> I'm shaking uh, the shit I, I, out that sunglasses. The the stories don't revolve around all the guys around you that get get taken out in one bullet. They revolve around the guy who went up and picked up the uh, liquid cooled machine gun and killed 20, uh, 20 marching soldiers. <laughs> that's a true story. That happened once. One guy, his entire his entire platoon was murdered around him, and he just picks up the he just picks up that that old liquid barreled machine gun, and he just one he just two hands it and runs down the field. Those things aren't intended to be taken off the turret, but he did it, and he didn't die. Good job. He was very angry. The winner is you. Yeah, they they don't even they don't even have grips to hold them like that, you know. <laughs> He was holding it by the barrel. That probably got pretty warm. Maybe. They don't make machine guns like that anymore. <laughs> Which is sad. Uh, you even keep your hands when you're using them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, over...
described to me and what, what I've seen and everything. It, I, I mean, the art direction looks interesting. Um, but other than that, yeah, it all, all does sound an awful lot like Team Fortress. It is Team Fortress. But, 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 but paid. Yeah, it's a $60 version of Team Fortress. So, I mean, a lot of people are saying it's a good game, but it's a multiplayer only shooter. It's a slightly more interesting and fresh Team Fortress. Even when Team Fortress 2 was new, it wasn't $60. It wasn't a full price game. It was 15 no, It was, yeah, fairly cheap from what I remember. So, I, I got it in the Evolve back, back in the day. So, what else? Yeah. The orange box, which was yeah. Half Life 2, Portal, and uh, TF2. Mm hmm. Which was actually a really good offer because all of those games were good. Mm hmm. It was for pretty good value. Also, I think um, Left 4 Dead was in there. No, that well, it wasn't in there. That was the uh, Valve pack that I got later. <gasps> it was kind of a fun story. It was like, hey, I want to get um, Portal 2. So, should I get the game for 40 quid? Or should I get the um, Valve pack, which is currently only 30 quid? Gee, I wonder what I shall do. So yeah, obviously I got the fall back with all the games. What? You didn't pay more for the single game? That's ridiculous. I know, right? Yeah, how, how dare you? I just decided to go on to Steam's page and it just reminded me Ooh. that Doom exists. Yes, yeah, so exists. Uh, and... where, where an entire store page is con Entirely consumed by the word doom. They it, also it, give. They also, they also give you a game. Okay, hey, back, back, back. I mean, Ben, 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 boy. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. I, I think they might be trying to sell you doom. I think, oh. I think you might be right. Well, Alex, you might think that, but they are also giving a game with doom. I don't remember which game, but there's no, a game. Wolfenstein, old, oh. old order. Yes. It's the and it's and the... you 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 can play this game while they are waiting for Doom to release, except when the Doom releases and it happens to be shit and you want to refund it, you can't because Steam, when you buy a bundle, it treats the the refund time that's two hours. Mm -hmm. It doesn't count it for individual games. It counts it's. Uh, count, counts it for the entire bundle exactly. Well, in that case, if you want to refund the the game, which is in a bundle, you need to refund the entire bundle, and I guess. Yes, that means you cannot play the game they gave you to play while waiting for Doom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it will invalidate your refund request. In but the... uh, I don't think there was any malice in that. I think that's just an over. Uh, an oversight of the refund system. I mean, it's already pretty cool so. that there is a refund system. Also, it's pretty funny because the, the people it seems to piss up the most are like the indie developers that are like, hey, these people are getting refunds on the, the, the game that I made that you can finish in 20 minutes. So people uh, yeah. are buying the game, playing it for 20 minutes, and then they're getting refunds. Well, maybe if you finished the game. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I, I, I'd, oh. I'd be pretty insulted if I bought a game and I finished it in 20 minutes. Yet, there are apparently plenty of these sorts of games that you can finish in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and I think anyone who gets scammed into that should get a refund. Mind you, there, it is kind of odd. Like, back in the Nintendo days... It, you could beat most of the games in under an hour mm. if you were hilariously good at them. Oh, yeah. But you, just look you... at Super Mario. It, uh, apparently, someone recently broke the world record and it's like five minutes and something seconds. And they beat it by like a tenth of a second or whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, the frame perfect speed runs are hilariously hot. Like, it's a very useful thing to do. Uh, I, I've seen I've seen the uh, the tool assisted speedruns of Super Mario where they 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 jump so that your character is phasing through enemy sprites 
in the split second that the Nintendo doesn't render the sprite because it's rendering another sprite because there's too many sprites on the screen. <laughs> that's it's just incredible. That is incredible. But, but yeah, don't they they beat the games in, in minutes, so but yeah, normal people will never achieve that kind of skill, not without memorizing every perfect m- maneuver in the game mm-hmm. and 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 your first run through the game even if you are the kind of person who can speed run games you'll still have to explore and find the right paths and and deal with 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 the puzzles and the situations that you're not expecting so it's, you're not going to finish these games in 20 minutes your first time no not even not even gone home <laughs> I mean, you'd still need to do what the fuck you're supposed to do. I mean, it's not going to take no, forever, no. but... In Gotham, you just go to the front door and leave. Yes. Wait, that's that's legitimately a way to beat the game. Yeah, you, you can just you can just leave. And that, is that's a win condition? Well, really? it, 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 it's, it's a condition to make the game end. Uh, which is it, something so, that yeah, you it's a win want condition. to do. <laughs> there, there's there's something like that in Super Me- in, in Metroid Prime as well. Uh, it, at the beginning of the game, it presents you with an option that says uh, you've detected life signs or something happening on this planet. Will you land or go away? And you can just say go away and then credits roll. <laughs> yeah, which is good. You can just choose to leave. <laughs> uh, there's another game I played like that as well. It's called. Uh, uh, Metal Max, and there's three or four games in the series. And at the beginning of the game, you go to your dad, and he's like, uh, "Do you really want to go out and become a hunter?" And you're like, "Well, no." I said, "Oh, okay. Stay home <laughs> then. Stay here. This is it's game over." <laughs> oh, there's people in the chat. Yes. I don't know what is this people. What does it do? Does it scare you? Can it, be, can, it, can, it, can it be exchanged for goods and services? Well, if you befriend them, or if you become business partners and you, you start well, a you, business and... That's like too much work. Can uh, I just the, enslave them instead? Nah, nah, I'm afraid slavery has been abolished for a few years from now. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that, I'm sorry that I had to ruin your day like that. Oh, speaking of slavery, <laughs> the, the 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 new Top Gear is going to start in about two weeks. <laughs> uh, they, they, slavery. They they released the cast line of it months ago, but it's just just now that it's so close, it's like it, it it it's going to happen, and you you you've you've seen Top Gear, right? Everyone here knows Top. Mm. Yeah, so, I know it exists. It's got you know Jeremy Clarkson and and and, and Richard Injury and and <laughs> Captain Not Very Fast. Uh, but the new cast is I think it's what seven people. It's uh, it's as diverse uh, as possible. It's got a black guy in it, which I can't remember the name of, who apparently got on the show by winning in one of those crowdfunding auditions that they do for like Big Brother. So so just a bunch of people went and auditioned for so, the show. So, so you know he's a quality? Yeah, yeah. Because he impressed people in an audition. Yes. And, he's... and probably not because he's a token minority. That, that, that would be racist. Mm. Uh, then you've got a girl that I don't know what she's from, but she's probably something. She's a girl. She is a girl. Uh, All you need to know. You got Joey from Friends. <laughs> for some for, reason. Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> Joey from Friends, the, the most American person I know of on TV, is in a British TV show about cars. Uh, <laughs> in fact, the most British TV show about cars. Uh, you got Chris Evans, who used to be a popular radio DJ back in the day. Emphasis on use. Yeah, he, no, he was popular when I was in school, so <laughs> <laughs> that was 15 years ago. Uh, uh, some old guy, 
I, I don't know who he is. He is a uh, and and a, and a brown person who's who's Muslim <laughs> apparently. So it's got an all star cast of people I don't recognize, except for Joey and Chris Evans. Uh, it it's 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 checked all the boxes for diversity, which is good, obviously. Well, it doesn't have a giant, a giant, gigantic fat person who would weigh down the cars on the speed laps. It's ironic because that could actually be, you know, an interesting aspect. Like, how well does this car perform when operated by someone that weighs like 250 kilograms? And then just explodes because it can't handle all that weight. I have no idea what to really expect from a new Top Gear show. Like the old Top Gear, what became a show that was almost entirely based, well, on two things: one, on them doing strange reviews of sports cars that nobody in the right mind would ever buy, and buy any of these cars, but they still liked driving them because. They were a bunch of people who had too much money, and they could afford those cars. Uh, and then, then there are other aspects of the show was how much can we torture the presenters? And that that was obviously not very politically correct. Uh, so, so uh, the the new show, I I don't really know how they're going to approach this with all these new presenters, uh, because. I don't think any of those people are going to be willing to to be harmed for the sake of a TV show, whereas the original crew of Top Gear kind of became used to it. Yes. Like, Jeremy Clarkson literally drove into a wall at 50 or 60 <laughs> miles an hour. He did this himself of his own <laughs> accord. He was like, yeah, oh, we're doing a test where we drive cars into a wall. Mine doesn't have a speedometer, so I just guess. <laughs> yes. Well, that's there, was also, there was also the one time he got a shotgun into his hands, and the first thing he did was to look into a barrel. No, that, that, that was Captain Slow who looked down the oh. barrel. Okay. <laughs> which, which, was, which was pretty funny, because you just, just see Hammond and, and, and <laughs> Clarkson just laugh. And I was like, why? Why would you do that? Uh, and then, of course, Hammond broke his arm like five times on the show, <laughs> twice by falling off horses. <laughs> wow! I mean, on a car show, you get like, like that, that doesn't make much sense because horses are very terrible cars. Yeah, they are. <laughs> One of them was over overexcited, and I think it tried to have sex with him. Ah, well, they have only one horsepower. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not even sure if it was mileage. an entire horse. Yeah, they, it they... Is, isn't even worth it. Mm -hmm. And they have terrible mileage. Like, if, if you, you know, use gas on the horse, they won't even get one mile per gallon. Well, we're, the thing is, uh, the part that the episodes of the show I really liked were always the, the specials where they, where they um, made the cast try to drive across a desert or drive across a mountain or drive across a jungle in shitty cheap cars. And I don't... I, we're a cast of seven people, and there is an echo. Uh, I don't, I don't know how they're going to do that, or if they're even going to try. Uh, uh, then there's, there's the caravan adventures, which, which was a, which was a bit of a recurring theme. The, these things, I don't know if they'll work without, the, without the cast having the chemistry built up that uh, the original cast did. And I don't, I don't think they'll. I, 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 I'm not even sure if they'll even bother. And and that would be the most disappointing thing. If they don't even try to do the wacky shit they used yep. to do. And that's why people watch the show. And, uh, and they raced that's minivans good. and put two cars on top of each other and one person steer and one person have the accelerator. At 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 one point, uh, at one point they raced buses. Mm -hmm. They raced everything. It was retarded. I loved it. Well, obviously, I mean, yes, there, there was also an episode based on, based around the uh, Reliant Robin, 
<laughs> Which of, co of course kept uh, getting lopsided in every turn. But it's okay, guys. There, there is a silver lining. I have seen photos from Amazon that oh, yeah. showed a car park with four Reliant Robins in them, and <laughs> one of them was on its side. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> because even though BBB, BBC's Top Gear may be dead, it may be, we don't know yet, give it two weeks, then we'll know for sure. But Top Gear lives on in what's apparently called the Grand Tour, where Amazon have hired. The, the, the short synopsis is apparently the, tr the crew of the original Top Gear will do an episode of driving in every country in the world or something. So they're going to drive all over the world and crash their cars into things. <laughs> Sounds like a very good prospect, if you ask me. Well, that that sounds like they're ba Amazon are basically going with the idea of the the Top Gear special episodes, and just making an entire season of those. Which I can't say I I, I can't say there's anything wrong with that. I I half expect one of them to get shot before the end of it, if they do. Well, there was that episode of Top Gear where they drove across the Middle East and they were very worried about getting shot. Uh, and uh, considering the state of the Middle East right now, if yeah. Amazon do an episode there, they will probably get shot. Yes. According to Stanley Post, there is no Middle East anymore. <laughs> well, it's just an entire hell zone. Basically. At the moment, yeah, I, I would say that's probably like, accurate. Like, according to the people fighting in Iraq right now, there's no Iraq. <laughs> there's only broken dreams. No, uh, actually, bro actually, broken bodies are ticks. And that too. It's all metaphysical, whatever. <laughs> no, no, it's guns. Yeah, but the, the guns are are um, uh, yes, guns are Arctic. I, I don't have anything. I'm 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 trying to be pretentious as all fuck. Certainly, you I don't have can't. guns. Obviously, I'm 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 not enlightened as as these people that justify terrorism. So. You, you I guess I'm just I'm I'm I, I'm guessing I'm just too normal. Ugh, well yeah. fucking normy. Yeah. Anyways, I think um, we should end the episode because we've been going for about well well over an hour. So seventeen days. Is it because I stopped endlessly ranting about things? No, maybe. Actually, that is that it? was the fun part. So now everyone is like. <laughs> Yeah, um, so... And him stopping ranting about things was the fun part. <laughs> oh, actually, I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I like listening to it while draw this drawing of Lenny. Lenny. Uh, Alex, I don't think you get the joke. Oh, yeah. I, I suppose you don't get the joke. Video no. games, man. Video games. That too, video, video games. games. Yeah. You shit lord. Like in video what games. if Top Gear made doom it would be fucking epic this is not the time for video games just just imagine it video the games crew top or... here trying to drive across phobos in shitty second-hand cars while fighting off hell demons hmm it would be <laughs> top gear in mars with monsters what could that go could... wrong that might make for a uh... nothing for a moderately watched episode, even. I agree. Anyway, I the outro mean, music is playing. So That's we terrible. know what that means. What? Once it's crashing, which it always does for some reason. Not always. You need Fair a computer enough. that's not shit. Yes, that's so true. It stopped crashing. Or a program that's not shit, which is probably the case. Stop being but so shit, Arctic. Everything you own is shit. No. 
Yes. It's certainly better than your computer, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But my computer still has higher than the recommended requirements for Doom. Mm -hmm. which, which is fairly impressive for a five-year-old computer. Yeah, but you also spend about three times as much. No, make it five. So, so yeah. I think so. I'm pretty I, I sure that ex except for a video card, my computer is better than yours. Mm, from what I've heard, no. no. What, do, what do you mean from, from, from what you heard? Because from what... You, you are the one who keeps... You Sorry. are the one who keeps cutting off. USB, anyway, USB microphone. thank you USB. for watching another episode of Radio Rothingham, the least professional podcast on the entire internet. Not just some of it, but the entire... <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, 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 so do all that standard YouTube shit like subscribing and liking and, well, you know, the drill. And uh, see you next week for a new episode of your favorite and podcast. It's also at least it, professional. If you donate to Artrix, he might be able to afford a microphone that's not shit. Yeah, commission me so I can buy all the microphones. So, yeah. I expect to have at least 60 commissions by next week so I can buy, well, a nice, nice microphone and have some, some leftover money. So, yeah. Bye-bye. The music is fading out now. Oh no. Also, Astra said so many things. I did, didn't I? You Who's sure Astra? did.